Aspergillus is a genus consisting of several hundred mole species found in various climates worldwide. It is very common in the environment and can be found in soils, on plants, and in decaying plant matter. It is also found in household dust, building materials, and even in spices and some food items. There are lots of different types of Aspergillus, but some of the more common ones include Aspergillus fumigatus, Aspergillus flavus, Aspergillus terris, Aspergillus nidulans, and Aspergillus niger. Aspergillosis is the disease caused by aspergillus. There are many kinds of aspergillosis. One kind is allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, also called ABPA, a condition where the fungus causes allergic respiratory problems such as wheezing and coughing, but does not actually invade and destroy tissue. Another kind of aspergillosis is invasive aspergillosis, a disease that usually affects people with immune system problems. In this condition, the fungus invades and damages tissues in the body. Invasive aspergillosis most commonly affects the lungs but can also cause infection in many other organs and spread throughout the body. Since aspergillus is so common in the environment, most people breathe aspergillus spores every day and it is probably impossible to completely avoid breathing in some spores. For most people with a healthy immune system, this does not usually cause harm and the immune system is able to get rid of the spores unless there is an elevated concentration of the spores in the environment. But for people with compromised immune systems, breathing in aspergillus spores, especially breathing in a lot of spores, such as in a very dusty environment, can lead to infection and even death in extreme cases. Studies have shown that invasive aspergillosis can occur during building renovation or construction. Aspergillus spores are also commonly found in buildings that have suffered water damage or elevated humidity levels that have allowed the mold to grow and multiply indoors. Buildings such as healthcare facilities with people that have weakened immune systems need to be especially vigilant of this dangerous pathogen. Environmental testing can help identify when microbial contaminants such as aspergillus are in the indoor environment and at what levels. To learn more about prevention and environmental testing services, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.